Hello guys, Dusty here with another YouTube video and yes we have found more records, cassettes, and CDs so I will be showing you all of those ton of uh, cassettes. So those will go to the end of the video and then CDs in the middle and records first, just how I always do it. Um, do I have my 45s? Yes I do, okay. So, for starters, um, I do want to let you know that I, I don't know what order I picked these up in. I honestly can't remember. It's been over a, quite a while um, since the last pickup video. So, um, yeah, uh, we're going to kind of be playing this by ear, and if I repeat any from the last one, I do apologize. But for starters, we have uh, some Goodwill finds. Yeah, local Goodwill, 33 cents a record. Uh, for starters, we have Bachman Turner Overdrives, four-wheel drive. Um, and yeah, it's in decent shape. It's not in the greatest shape. Uh, the thing about these ones that I'm going to show you is they were in, they were just caked with dirt. Like, it, it, it was insane. Uh, I'm surprised they're decent at all. But yeah, they, they're definitely... I think all of them are listenable. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> ended up working out. But 33 cents a record, I can't really complain. So, four-wheel drive for Bachman Turner Overdrive. Next up... We have Honky Chateau from Elton John. Um, and now this one actually came with the first disc of Goodbye Yellow Brick Road in it, um, but it wasn't in good shape and I already have it, so I'm not going to show it in this pickup video. But yeah, it uh, has the generic dust sleep here. goes in there. Yeah, I think this goes around like this. Or it should. Yeah, yeah this goes into there. Yeah, Yahtzee. We got it. We got it in the end. Lucky Chateau, and I did not have that before, so good to have it now. Another album that I did not have before, and I didn't have the BTL one either. Uh, but yeah, another album that I didn't have was Gary Wright's The Dreamweaver. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about uh, leaving the plastic on your records, but this plastic is just dirty and gross, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. Um, and yeah, uh, it's missing the dust sleeve, but the record's in okay shape. I mean, it's not anything to write home about, but there's scratches and stuff on it. Should play, though, I would think. I don't know, I haven't tried it out yet, but yeah. And next up, we have one that was a little bit more battered. We have Kraftwerk's Autobahn album. Um, and let's see, yeah, it did come with the dust sleeve. However, this one had a little bit more damage to it, so unfortunately. Uh, but it should still play fine. I mean, you know. I'm not, I'm, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for 33 cents, so... And if I can get perfection for 33 cents, I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. All right, and in that same string of pickups, we got Tommy, uh, the original soundtrack recording. And both LPs are in here. Uh, one of them ended up being in better shape than the other. I can't remember which is the better and which one's worse, but either way, they're both still playable. One of them was just caked with dirt. It was, it was terrible, but yeah. It's a gatefold. Pretty cool anyway. Um... So yeah, then next up, uh, we're going to go with the most recent pickups, because we're doing this completely out of order. So, um, <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to start with uh, this one um, that I picked up because it looked relatively interesting, and it was at the Mason City Goodwill, which is also 33 cents a record, or three for a dollar, so you have to buy three, or else they'll charge you 75 cents for a record. So, yeah, um, Spyro Gyra Rights of Summer, um, I'm not, I, I've never heard of it. I've never heard of them. I've never heard of anything, but the record was in good shape, I think. Actually, I didn't check it. Yeah, it looks in good shape. Yeah. I mean, it looked interesting, so might as well. If any of you guys know about it, let me know. Um, and then we have one because they didn't have anything else good enough to buy, and I just... I If, if, if you kind of have caught up with, like, current events and stuff, this is just funny. <laughs> nice going, United. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just saw that and I was like... <laughs> For those of you who don't know, um, United Airlines kind of had a terrible PR disaster earlier in the year. So that's kind of what it's referencing. Nice going. Yeah. Anyway. Um, and then the album that I actually bought those two to actually buy was Duke from Genesis. Uh, and yeah, I did not have this. So, and it's in decent shape too, which is crazy because, um, you know, nobody else bought it before I did. So, and there was just like tons of records there. Um, weird phone noises. 
Uh, there was tons of records. I'm putting it in the wrong way, of course. There were tons of records there um, that, you know, were just not great records. And then uh, kind of diamond in the rough, we found this one. Um, not too much of a diamond, I suppose. I mean, it's it's a pretty cheap album, but, you know, nonetheless, it's good to have it. it it's kind of one you have to have. All right, and then let's see, next up, we got just two random ones that I picked up um, because of the whole three for a dollar thing. Um, and I actually picked these up with another one that I'll talk about later, but we got Realistic Put the Hammer Down, uh, Merle Haggard, Moving On, White Line Fever. Um, I should stop doing this voice because my, my throat might hurt, but yeah, it's in decent shape and it just exists. So, any, anything? Yeah, it's just a compilation album with trucks on it, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And then we also got uh, this one, Fresh Air 2. Um, let's see. I, I honestly bought this one because it came in a nice sleeve. So, there you go. I can repurpose this sleeve if I need to. I've never actually listened to the album. Who knows? It might be good. Uh, and then, okay, let's see if I can find the album that uh, I picked up with that. Okay. These are all out of order, and I very much apologize. Okay, so this is how that story went, actually. I was looking through the Goodwill, and they had carts out full of stuff. So I was rummaging through the carts, and I saw the back of this album, and I was like, you're, you're kidding. You're kidding. Just lone record, just sitting in a cart. Saw the back of the album. Recognized it immediately. It's Fleetwood Max Rumors. You never find this, well, I never find this album, all right? Everybody else does, but I never find it. So, to have actually found it is a good thing, because I like Fleetwood Mac. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, the record, unfortunately, um, it plays very weird on side one. I mean, it's in good shape. It just, it sounds like it has been played on a Crosley or something like that, because, man, it, it just, like, dynamic range, and it kind of warbles a little bit. It's 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 not great, but still, you, you can put it on in the background, I suppose. But I wouldn't probably listen to side A. Side B, though, is absolutely perfect. So if I can find one with a good side A, then I'll have one complete Fleetwood Mac rumors. And it did come with a poster, too. Or I believe this is a poster. Yeah, it's a poster. So yeah. I can't fit this back in here because the dust sleeve is damaged. All right, so let's see, anything else we're going to go over before the other ones? Oh yeah, with all those other ones, like the Gary Wright one, the Elton John, like the uh, BTO one, I found the Hotel California in like super condition. Like it is, it is just a great copy, which um, my copy, I, I did own this album, but my copy was just unplayable. This one's playable, so... And, and my old copy actually had the poster, which somebody decided to do their math homework on. So I decided to put my poster in. But yeah, it does have the poster nonetheless now. So I suppose I do have this album complete. Um, I think the only problem with it is, once again, it, it was dirty and dusty. Um, like the first 15 seconds of Hotel California are kind of... But other than that, it's, you know, it's perfectly listenable, so... All right, let's see what else. This one was in the last video. Oh yeah, with those records, this this was actually picked up with the other Honky Chateau. They must have liked the album so much they bought two of them. And also, the second disc to Goodbye Yellow Brick Road was in here. So, yay, we got both of them. Yeah, and and they both exist. Yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm not gonna bother closing that. Let's see any other. Any other albums here? Uh, hurry up. Oh yeah, different string of pickups here, I think. We got, uh, once again, Local Goodwill, 33 cents a record. Belly Joel's a stranger. There are some songs that listen good, some songs that listen don't, but the ones that don't listen good are on Billy Joel's Greatest Hits, so I, I can take this. I can, 33 cents, just to have this album, because it's one of my favorite albums. Yeah, I, finally. Finally, I own you. Um, and then next up, we got Commodore's Greatest Hits. You got it for 33 cents. Uh, and then same with KC and the Sunshine Band and other KC and the Sunshine Band. 
Oh, 33 cents. Mostly. Actually, does one of these have two LPs in it? No, this is just a gatefold, I think. Yeah, so, 33 cents. And next up, we got Peter, Paul, and Mary's moving album. Uh, this is another album that I didn't have. I only had their greatest hits, so good to have. Their most popular album, I believe. Um, and then another album that I finally have, Billy Joel's Glass Houses. Um, oh, I, I found this at a garage sale last year, and it was just the sleeve, and that like broke my heart, because I love this album, too. So, um, you know, and it's in good shape. <clears throat> it's probably a reissue or something, because it doesn't come with a nice... Yeah, it was clearanced at one point, because it has a nice notch in it. Actually, the... The, the cardboard itself doesn't have a notch in it. Wouldn't it be weird if I just didn't check this and it was an entirely different record? Nope, this is Glass Houses. But, oh. Oh, I know what happened now. I actually cleaned this record. It didn't come with the dust sleeve, so I put it in another dust sleeve that I had lying around. So there you go. Yeah, Glass Houses. We also found, um, this is Chicago's Greatest Hits. I, want, I, I, I think I remember it. Yeah, Chicago's Greatest Hits. Um, I don't know, the Chicago album's confusing, but I'm very happy to have it. Um, and I think this one is in okay shape. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay. And then another one that we found, Raspberry Beret from Prince and the Revolution. It was just there. 33 cents. Had to buy it. I'm not sure if it's in good shape. Uh, it's, it's fine, I think. That looks fine. But I believe this is a full disc single. So. Interesting nonetheless. Let's see, next up we got Merle Haggard's Big City. I bought this because um, I needed another uh, record to make a dollar. Is there another one here? Glenn Campbell, Highway Man. Not too familiar with Glenn Campbell, but I figured I might as well pick it up. Um, and then, this, <laughs> okay, this because it's the cheesiest thing I've ever actually seen in my entire life. This is Houdini Funky Beat. This is, this is, <laughs> it exists, it's in here, it is. It exists! Three for $12.99 or $4.99 each. Somebody paid $5 for this. I can't put it back in the thing. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's see, what else did we find? Oh yeah, another album that made um, 33 cents at one point. Janet Jackson, What Have You Done For Me Lately? So, yeah, exists. It was well taken care of anyway, it looks like, besides didn't come in the dust sleeve. But... Um, not a big fan, but whatever. And another one, these are like all separate times, by the way, um, that I've had to just grab another record or two to make 33 cents, which is why I have so many records that I'll never listen to. Um, because I, I can't just, I can't justify spending 75 cents on one record when I can spend a dollar on three. It just, it doesn't work for me. But yeah, Debbie Boone, you light up my life. Um, okay. Let's see, uh, oh yeah, these are all from, uh, the one with the two Elton John honky chateaus. We got a second Madman Across the Water, which my case was destroyed, and the disc that was actually in this one was destroyed, so, um, actually, yeah, it looked like this. But, 33 cents, I got an upgrade to my case anyway, so. And, let's see, because my, mine had, like, a chunk missing out of the bottom. As a thing there, so have to have to switch that out. And then next we got Captain Fantastic, a second one. I picked it up because it was there, and this one seems to come with come with something. Comes with that lyrics book. Hey, that's interesting. No dust sleeve though. Actually, is this a dust sleeve? No, it's not a book. It's a comic book. Is that an Elton John comic book? I guess. Oh no. Only the back of it. Yeah. 
Apparently I've seen it all now. Okay. And then next up, we got, ooh, I'm gonna run out of time. Yeah, this might just be records today. Um, and then uh, <laughs> cassette and CD. Um, the next part, uh, this will be part one. The next part will be part two. See how, see how that works? It's crazy. We got another copy of Don't Shoot Me, I'm a movie piano player. I think it's 33 cents. Now we got another, I mean, another Elton John album that I didn't have. Uh, this is Rock of the Westies, I guess. Yeah, it's in good shape. 33 cents, why not? And we got another Three Dog Night Harmony. I have so many of them now, but I just can't pass them up for 33 cents. Got uh, another copy of Kiss Destroyer. I think I already have a few of these. And it's dirty. Very dirty. It's gotten dirt all over me. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Are these in the... I don't know if these were. Okay. Um. So, we got Alabama. Um, because it doesn't hurt to have Alabama. I suppose. I believe this is self titled Mistake. I don't know. I suck at doing things. Yeah, probably is. We got Best of Dolly Parton, because why not? I think that was just another one to make 33 cents one way or another. And then um, we also got this, because I, I I honestly don't know. But I did buy this. Like, I didn't... It's it's Village People, Live and Sleazy. It exists. <laughs> You know how some of these records are just ones that you have to buy because they exist, and and it, it exists. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so now, two last records. These ones were actually bought, one of them from a record store. Ooh, Dusty went to a record store. And also, um, one of them was bought on Amazon. And both of them were gotten in the same day. Uh, it was One of them was delivered, and one of them I purchased, of course, from the record store. So the one from the record store... Okay, let me let me set up the scene here. Uh, I went to a record store uh, in Ames called the Vinyl Cafe, um, and they're mostly a cafe, but they do sell records. And their prices were very um, up there, I should say. But the, the, granted, the the records were in good shape, so I mean, you know, um, and they're they're brick and mortar. They gotta stay in business, so I understand that. Um, but there was one in here that was like, yeah, this is a good enough deal, particularly for how good of shape this album is and for how much I wanted it because this is like kind of the uh, albums that I need to have this now. And that is ZZ Top's Eliminator. Boy, what an album. And it is in perfect condition. It's so good. And yeah, the, the only exception is Dust Sleeve, a little bit of tear there but the the record itself is in perfect condition like, oh man it's just it's beautiful it's beautiful and it was eleven dollars that's kind of where it's like oh yeah i shouldn't have done that but i did it there you go eleven dollars um actually the most i've ever paid for a used vinyl record in fact yeah anyway Last but not least, we had the other album I got that day, the one that I got uh, from Amazon. And um, if you know me, you know, of course, he picked this up. It's the Labyrinth soundtrack. Uh, yeah, they finally reissued this. Uh, for those of you who don't, aren't familiar with this album, this used to be freaking impossible to get. Like, it, it, it used to be expensive, yo. Um, did I just say expensive, yo? Whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, they reissued it, and Amazon was selling it for like 17 bucks. So I was like, yeah, I gotta buy that. Um, because I, I was I was almost gonna buy it, you know, just not the reissue, and just pay, pay the ridiculous amount of money, because I freaking love this soundtrack. It is one of my favorite movies, too. Where's the Blu-ray? Where, where is it? There it is. My favorite movies, too. It's almost made me want to get a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player because it's actually out for that, but I then came to my senses and I'm like, who's from 1985? What can 4K do for it? Uh, but nonetheless, that, you know, I'd have to buy a player for it, which, you know, uh, is expensive once again. Uh, yeah, nonetheless, it's just, it's a great... I, I unboxed it, by the way, too. And it did come with the seam split, 
that that was that was not very nice. But um, I'm not gonna complain honestly. Um, at this point, I I, I just don't I don't want to be without this album, so I'm not gonna send it back or anything like that. But I am gonna shake my fist at Amazon. Curse you, Amazon! All right, so yeah, it looks like I've completely ran out of time. Uh, so next part of this video um, will be the CDs and cassette tapes. So anyway, this has been Dusty. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Take it easy.